Hi everyone, welcome to my little corner where there's no wrong way to play with paper and we are doing Blessing Box 61. Um, blessing Boxes, if you are new, is where my crafty, amazing community will send goodies to me, like what you see on my desk, and we'll get to that. Um, or things that maybe they've bought a lot of and they're no longer into that, but they want to donate it. This stuff is expensive. And what we do is we compile it and we give it all away in kind of themed boxes or for different giveaways on my Facebook group. It is not just for me, it is from your fellow crafters and it just spreads joy. That's what it's all about, spreading joy and having fun. And there's a lot of people, maybe they're just getting into scrapbooking and it really excites them to get a box of goodies. And it's a flat rate box, it's a big box. You'll see it at the end. So I wanna thank everyone who donates. There are people who donate that you don't see, right? If you watch a commercial in any of my videos, you are donating to the postage of blessing boxes to make it possible. If you participate in the swaps and let's see postage for your return swap is $2.50 and you send me three, that 50 cents goes towards um, the blessing box postage as well. Everything else I donate, that's my donation to the blessing boxes personally. And with all of us working together, that's how you see this happen. Like truly, that's how you see it happen. At the end, we will draw the winner of Blessing Box 60. Oh, yeah, 60. I just said what Blessing Box this is and I forgot. The last Blessing Box will be the winner. And I will show you what you have a chance to win. And we'll talk about how you do it, how you can get two chances, your name in the drawing twice, and all that good stuff. Let's just have fun. And even if you're just here to check out the product, why not, right? Okay, today's Blessings Box is donated by two people. I'm going to mention Vivian first. So Vivian W., um, she donated this. Now, this Blessing Box came to me. What is the date on the box? Let me let me look for you. Let me look. 625. Okay, here, I'm going to show you. 625, all right? And I do them in order. I date them, and they're in my closet, one day we're still going to have, I'm going to show you, my whole closet is dedicated to blessing boxes now. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> if you only knew. All right. And so um, we, I, I do them in order. This is where we're at. I, 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 so if you sent me a blessing box and you're not seeing it yet, that's okay. It's coming. I promise. I promise. I'm not hoarding it. Also, if you see something that you can use or you have a scrappy friend or someone who is just now starting to scrap um, or has a project they're working, maybe it's a wedding, maybe it's a birthday album, maybe it's a baby album. You see something that you could use, send me a shout out. My information is in the description or you can get me on my Facebook group through Messenger um, and join the community. We would love for you to come and hang out with us. Just answer those questions. I think I, I think I got it all in there. I probably forgot something. Who knows? All right. So thank you, Vivian. My favorite part is the notes. I'm not going to share that. I kind of selfish and I keep that to myself. Thank you for the card. Thank you for the note. Thank you for your donation. You are blessing many folks because we're going to sort it out. All right. We have some flair. Um, well, actually it's more like chipboard in the shape of flare, right? It squares. I'm not sure. Probably the same as this one, creative bubble. So a couple little things of um, chipboard there and then punch outs. And then we have a beautiful stamp. We have, these are all brand new. I mean, bless her heart. Maybe she had hit uh, a warehouse sale or something. Look at this. Wouldn't this be really good in an outdoor layout or um, some some uh, traveling or maybe even like a love, you know, where you carve your name in the tree. This is super cute. And it comes with dice. That's really, really cute. This would be cute for a little Happy Mail. Um, we've got some cherries, a die cut from Kaiser Craft. Let's see. We've got some more little stamps. It looks like florals. Let me get my, this is my scrappy piece. You know, it's all what I use to do mixed media and stuff on. Look, some birthday friends. This could go in like a teen girl. This could go in a birthday one, right? So there's that. Then we have, looks like a bunch of sentiments and goodies here. I'm not going to go through every single one because you guys know these videos get really long. But I will sit in front of the TV. You know me. And so like, here we go. You did it graduate. That would go in school, right? Um, this might end up, what does that say? It says snapshots that could go in every day or a media. 
Um, so I'll sit and I'll sort of make a little ephemera pack and they end up in those kits. They do. You see the kits later. Here's another set of stamps. We've got, um, what does this one say? I don't know what it says. Oh, happy day. Thanks so much. Oh, that's good for card makers. And then laugh out loud with a little floral. Could go in a little spring kit. This is what makes, beefs them up. Seriously. Then we've got Simple Truth. This, record the story. This is every day. We could use this on any layout, right? Then we've got some embossing, like bookmark embossing. I don't know if that's even coming up. Would it come up better on a piece of black or brown? Here, I have a scrap piece of brown sitting here. Oh, there, it's a little bit better. You can see them. But they're kind of, um, this one's a floral. This one's kind of like a paisley. Um, this one's just kind of swirlies. Yeah. <laughs> That's what that is. Technical terms around these here parts. <laughs> then we have a spellbinder's guide, definitely for Christmas. Isn't that pretty? That's very pretty. Then put it in the Christmas. We're going to have Christmas giveaways coming up soon. Um, choose adventure, story of today. Then it does have almost like a film strip. So with adventure, could go an outdoor. With the film strip, could go on a media. Uh, we'll see where it ends up. You'll see it again. You will. Then we have, these are Spellbinders dies, I can tell, and they're just shapes. So there's a couple of shapes. Here's a Play Create, kind of like um, Kiwi. Oh, it is Kiwi Lane. So you, these are templates that they give you through Kiwi Lane. I have a whole series with T Kiwi Lane. You guys know I love Kiwi Lane, so that's really fun. Then we have some Alpha stamps. Let me get out my cardstock here. Some pretty alpha stamps. Helps if I put them the right way. <laughs> I don't know, that's still wrong. <laughs> I, I can read, I can, I do know things, I promise. No, I really can. Who am I lying to about myself? <laughs> I don't know, okay. Um, we've got some pretty stamps, old school stamps. These are, sometimes they work so good and I love that they no longer come on the block. You can just put them on um, your acrylic blocks. So they're cling stamps. It says summer vibes. That's all I see right now. So guess where it's going to go? A summer kit. We'll start summer kit for next year. We already gave away. Here's some winter goodies. Little snowman. Yeah. And a little penguin. Is that a bear? Nope. Another penguin. Lots of fun. So winter kit there. This one says Merry Christmas. You know where that's going to go. We've got some more flair every day. I would find a kit that has the teal and the pink. Um, and we would maybe spring. That would go good in spring. We have some more goodies here. Um, some flowers. This reminds me of school, teenage girl. And um, what does this one say? Good luck. Oh, yeah. Celebrate. There it is for me. Celebration slash birthday kit. That's where that one will go. Then we have hello, my friend, and thank you. Wonderful for card kits. And then we have another die that is basically a cluster shape that you could use from Kaiser Craft. And an embossing folder. Now, I don't know if you're gonna, oh, almost dropped it. I caught it though. I'm on a roll over here. All right, this one says, hmm, there we go. Thanks so much. I don't know if it's coming across. A uh, big thank you. You are the best. It's embossing folder. So that to me is card kit all day long. So I've given away a few card kits. We'll just start another one. In fact, I, I think we just did one. I'm, I'm not sure. I think one of the blessing boxes was recently a card one. So they all get mixed up for me, y'all. Honestly, they do because <laughs> I film ahead. So let me put this stuff away. I'll come back with the next blessing box. We usually do two in each video nowadays and we'll have some more fun. Hang in there. All right, you guys, here's our second box. This is donated by Miss Shayla K. Shayla, thank you so much for your don donation, donation, donation. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, the stuff you sent. <laughs> Thanks for that. Only me, only me. All right, so let's go through the wonderful goodiness that she sent us. She sent us a bunch of these quote stacks. I used to use these all the time, all the time. So I will put them, this is all about boys, home and family. I will put this in on my boy embellishments for the um, giveaways, home and family celebrations, um, nature and inspirational. We'll put that in outdoor, why not? 
Then I have some birdies here. Probably put this in my girl, mom, maybe every day. I mean, it'll fit really much anywhere, right? These remind me of pirate. Remember when we used to all get these and we used to cut them apart? So I'll put this in my ocean. That's where my pirate goodies are. Um, American Kid Vellum. We can put that in the 4th of July stuff. Here's some cool little border strips. Um, we'll put this one in summer. This is grass, so maybe outdoor or summer, but they could both go in summer if we needed to. Then these are really cool. I had never, I was just putting stuff out here and I took a moment to look at these. And these are Dazzles, brown teddy bears, the name of this particular one. And what you do is you carefully take this up and then you put it on different pieces of um, cardstock and you can make pretty little things with it. That's really neat. That's different. I, I've never seen these before. Just goes to show you, don't ever see everything, right? Cross stitch, stitch stickers. We can put that in the crafting um, goodies. Get well, that would definitely either go in occupation for like nursing or we could put it in a card kit and there's just a whole stack to go through. So I will go through these and I will put them um, where they will fit best. Like this would go good in spring. I guess I could flip through them. Oh, look, there's some stickers we can put in outdoor. Let's see here. Um, flowers, hibiscus flowers. They're, you know, I love lilies, but hibiscus are a close second for me. If we could have put, we could start a new zoo kit and put this little monkey in there. So we'll, we'll, we'll find places for all of it, right? Then there are some mosaic tile. Now, I never got into these, really. It's the first time I've ever seen these as well. They're from Crystal Stickers, and here's some larger ones and some smaller ones. That's pretty neat. Like, if you wanted to do a grid, they even have examples on how to use them on the back. Then, there are all these cool embellishment packs that she has sent. I mean, aren't these amazing? And it looks like they had, like, a theme. Like, this one maybe was a birthday theme. Whoops. This one looks like it was just home, it'd be in general. This one gives me teen vibes. Now, I don't know what the theme actually was, um, but these, aren't these just neat? This says boys and toys, um, proud to be American. So I will, once again, I will just sort them and I will put them in the kits they will go. Like this is Sweet Pea, that could go on a baby kit. This could go in my flower kit. Um, it does, like, um, I am my own work of art. That's really, really cute. I could choose to put that in the craft. I don't know, you guys. We'll find somewhere. I will sort them and they will go. Just perfect girl, right? Summer, that's cool. You know, I like it when we do pink, no, we, when folks do pink with um, watermelons because it's always red, right? It's a nice change. Really, really beautiful little embellishment kits and they're already sorted thank you so much so much here's some uh winter goodies even some fresh stickers like these are felt okay some snow and cocoa that was really popular oh a year or so ago we've got this is you can make your own snowman embellishment and here's some more of those dazzles and she already has them on the little jump ring so that's pretty cool i love that put those in our winter goodies. Oh, if I don't mess it all up. Then this here, I think these are all baby goodies and she did have them in individual baggies already. Everything to do with ba baby. Some baby stickers, some sentiments, just really, really cool. Oh, look, some uh, resin pieces. Love that. I'm really getting into the resin lately. I order a lot on Timu. We'll just not talk about that. We'll never stop talking, we'll get on tangent. Here's some Alphas clear acetate ones. Um, I kind of looked through this one, but not a whole lot. This says out on the farm, looks like maybe a stand. I'm not really sure. Let, let's um, dig through it and see. Let, let's see, let's see. This is, oh, okay. Oh, I see. It's got, it's like letters. That's really cute. Okay, so there's that. Then what else? She sent us all kinds of goodies here. This here looks like, oh, birthday goodies. So we've got some more dazzles, the, the embellishment makers you can do. Basically all this is, is an outline. That's what that is. And then you just put it on paper and fussy cut it. Some beautiful titles, some rub-ons. Oh, an embellishment pack. Oh, look at that, how cute with the wire. Can you see that wire? Look at that, that is super, super cute. 
So I will put this in the celebration kit. There's even, even Brad's, present Brad's. I remember those. I used to have those a lot. Oh, remember we all used to crinkle paper? We had that little crinkler. That's super cute. How cute is that? Okay, so we have all that. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm going to stick something else in here. Let me get this back in here. Oh, I got that wire hung up. Stick that in. There is a candle punch. Can you see that? It's a little candle punch, so I'm gonna stick that in there too. We'll put that in the celebrations kit. Why not? Then as you can see, she sent me all these punches. Okay, we've got some Christmas stickers. She sent me all these punches, you guys. Now, I'm not sure what this is supposed to spell. If you personally have one, need one of these letters, let me know. I, maybe she had the whole alphabet and these are the only ones she had left. I don't know, but they're super cool. I almost wish I had some letter punches. I don't know, that'd be really fast. Hmm. Then we've got some Christmas holly. There's a few different leaves, like here's a leaf, here's a leaf. I thought there was one more, maybe not. Um, I don't know. This one here reminds me of like celebrating, okay, tooth. You guys, I, I'm going to keep this and you are gonna see me. I don't keep a lot of stuff if I kept everything that came. Can you imagine? I just can't. But you all know, I am on the dentist journey with Jason and his braces, so. I, but once I am done with all those here in the next year, I'll re-gift it to someone else who can use it. Then there's a little frog. It's a little frog. Um, a choo-choo train. What else we got? Balloons, bells, flowers, a Christmas tree, some shapes, an apple. That would go good in the school kit. This would go good in the celebration. So where did that go? What did I do with it? Nope. It's not that one. Look, I'm already losing myself over here. Okay. So we'll put that in there. I think that would be good for celebrating. Here's a paint um, splatter. We could put that in the craft one. Um, yeah, so lots and lots and lots of fun. A little bear, that would go good in the baby stuff. This is a lot of fun, but she all she didn't stop there. She sent so many goodies. Now there was a couple stamps they got broke, like they were shattered. So I did just toss those, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, they got broken. Here is a diamond painting. Jilly Joe loves these. My daughter, this is a huge stress reliever. If you watch my Forever Faith series, you know some of the things she's dealt with anxiety, so I think I'm gonna offer it to her. Now, if she doesn't want it, I will put it up on the Facebook group and somebody can tell me they want it and I will gift it to you. Um, I'm pretty sure she'll probably take it though. And then we have some ribbon and some trim. Isn't this a fun, that'd be a fun birthday one. Um, in fact, let's put that in the birthday stuff too if I haven't already lost that bag again. I'm forgetting something. Oh, all these brads. Look, there are lips in there, X's and O's. We'll put that in the Valentine's. I think here, if you look really close, I see little turkeys. So we'll put that in like Thanksgiving slash fall. These are so fun. I remember all these shaped brads. And they're kind of like these kind, or they're not brads, eyelets. They're harder to find than they used to be. I wish they still did these. I do, but I wish you could buy them in like a pack of 10, not a huge pack like this. You know, I can I can wish. Then here is some chipboard. It is actually their floral shape and you can um, color them whichever one you want. So there's those. Then she sent me a whole bag of different tags of all different shapes and designs. Um, there's little envelopes in here, which I could use um, to do something and more tags. And I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this yet. I may just have them like alphabets, stickers, and if they the color match, just throw a few in the kit or whatever. But we will definitely figure out a way to do these. These are fun, I remember these. This These here with the little metal aluminum edge, they were the rage for a while. Okay, so. Thank you so much. Let's pick the winner of last week's blessing box. Well, the last video, because it's every two weeks, right? And then I'm gonna show you what we're going to give away. So hang in there, I'll be right back. Ready, everybody, let's draw the winner for the last blessing box. Now, if you are the winner, make sure you reach out to me. My information is in the description of this video. You can always get me over on the Facebook group. Let's see who the winner is. Definitely shout out to me so I know I have the correct address. 
Suzanne McWinney, you are the winner of the last blessing box and congratulations. I know that you are also a swapper. We will get this to you. Reach out to me though so you and I can chitty chat about it and make sure you're home. I had the last gal was on vacation so I had to hold it. Let's see what you have a chance to win this week and how you do that. Hang in there. All right, everybody. Uh, let's talk about what you get a chance to win. So this week the theme is Prince and Princess. We're gonna have basically a girl slash boy kit. It's gonna sort of have a little prince and princess theme. So I just want you to tell me, what is your favorite prince or princess movie? Is it Princess Diaries? Um, I know Jill was really into Sophia the Princess cartoon. What, any movie with the word princess in it. Maybe you like something else. Maybe we'll all get movie ideas, right? I don't know, I'm running out of things to comment, y'all. That's, that's what it boils down to. So now you get two chances to win. You're gonna hear my grand girl. She's in here squeaking a little bit. So hopefully I can get through this without her crying. Um, you're gonna get two chances to win. You can comment in this video. That's one chance. And you can also join and or if you're already joined to the group, go to Ginger's Corner Facebook group and comment what's your favorite princess or prince movie. You could use either one. I, it doesn't matter to me. I need movie ideas. So I'm, I'm kind of being selfish here. All right. So you're going to get this whole paper pad and it's going to be basically gender neutral. There's some boy, there's some girl, there's some you could use on either one. Okay. Look at that. You guys, there's a lot of products in here. If you haven't um, been to the Facebook group and you haven't joined that yet, Trudy just laid out all of her product um, where she won the zoo box. Go look at it. It's a lot, you guys. I'm not kidding you when I tell you that. All right, because we fill up a whole flat rate box. Then you're going to get these little boys, boys and their toys. These are from several different blessing boxes. We have people that bless us so much on this group, okay? So you're going to get that one. And I did make page kits out of these. Um, you're going to get this whole pink paper pad. It's all about little girls, okay? A whole pink one. Isn't that a pretty paper? I think that one's pretty. There's that. So we've got three paper pads. And let me tell you, there's a lot of paper in each one of those. You're going to get some pink alphas. Okay, a whole sheet of them. Then you're going to get a couple boy kit, or this is a girl princess kit. I'm almost said it wrong. Some simple stories paper. Um, now, these are just kits I've put together. You can take them apart and do whatever you would like with them right? It is yours once you get it. Um, simple stories, little princess. Now all the papers in here are not from this line, but several are. Okay. Maybe I'm lying. Maybe they all are. Oh, Kinsley girl, let us, let us get down. Oh, she's not going to do it. You know what? I, I am fibbing. They are all, let me, let me double check. No, no, these are a little bit different. Oh, that one needs to go in the unicorn one. What was I thinking? I think these accidentally got put in the wrong one. All right, redo. These ones are not supposed to be in there. Okay, you don't get those papers, sorry. <laughs> those go in the unicorn kit. All right, so there's that. And so you're gonna get the Simple Stories Little Princess. Then you're gonna get these um, Felt Goodies uh, Angel, it says Angel. Then I've got some girl vellum. Okay, it says diamatic, girl's best friends. A girl, it's a girl thing. A few pieces of vellum. Are you talking to us, baby girl? Then I'm going to also put in this um, princess uh, die from Timu. We've got some, those go in the unicorn. I must have totally put it in the wrong one. I apologize for that. Okay, so you're gonna get that whole girl kit, if it made sense, even after I dissected it. Oh, are you telling us, telling us stories? Then these brads that were in today's, remember the one that had the hearts? Uh, this was in there and look, there's little crowns. Has to go in this kit, has to, has to go in this kit. Then you're gonna get a baby boy kit, okay? Oh, we got it. We're on Nana duty, we're on Nana duty. And this is a kit I made a while ago and it has lots of boy colors, okay? Look at the little bunnies, aren't they cute? They're so cute. Of course, I'm kind of sappy right now when it comes to baby stuff. I wonder why. Okay, so there's that one. Put that in my little box sitting here. Yeah, you got stories? I got Miss Kinsley settled. 
So I've got some chipboard. We've got some green bits. We've got some sticker chipboard. We've got some yellow. Then this is what inspired the whole thing, right? Is this prince and this princess. That's what gave me the idea. Now, I know the paper pads not may not match it, but I just was like, we could do a girl boy kit. So that's that. Those will also be included. Let me fit them in here. I don't want to bend anything, so I try to be very ginger with it. Then I have some cut-aparts. I've got um, some uh, word dies and joy expressions. Hello kind of made me think boy-girl kind of thing. Then we've got a bunch more chipboard for mommy chips, um, moments, memories, all of that. Some beautiful hearts. We've got some tags that are neutral color. You could do whatever you like with them, okay? These ones go to the next blessing box, sorry. Then I've got some sentiment titles, okay? Moments, now, all of that kind of stuff. Then I've got four paper pads, okay? Now I picked these paper pads because they kind of go with the larger paper pads, but honestly, this one's more girly, right? This one is more girly. This one is more boy kind of vibe for sure. Now I know it has the school, but it's the colors that match that paper pad, that, that vintagey like one. So I thought I would throw that in. Then another one, there's a lot of boy girl vibes. It's a Chamil um, pad. So you're going to get all those, all of those. It's so much. It's a lot of stuff, y'all. But it's so fun. I love, I love it when you guys, if you win and you post it on the Facebook group, because I think sometimes in the video when I'm going through it, it just kind of gets lost of exactly how much is there. It is a lot. Seriously, it is a lot. Okay, then let me stick these in there as well. Again, I'm trying to be gingerly while I reload the box. Then we're going to do some of these beautiful ribbons. This is um, some decorative fringe. We've got a neutral yellow here, um, like meshy ribbon. I'm going to put that in there. Me. My box is getting full. Then I have this one here. Now, again, all of this comes together by different donation boxes. It's not all from one or any specification. This is a pink felt. And all those donations are what makes all of this possible. It truly does. We've got a white. We've got a yellow. And then I threw a green in there because there's quite a bit of green in that one boy kit with the bunnies. So there's that. And that's the whole thing. Now, I do have this pack of ephemera, and I have not had, it's a lot of stickers and girl boy vibes, so I'm just going to put it in there. <laughs> Maybe I'm being lazy and I don't have time to sort it lately, but, you know, that's okay. You can sort it, right? It'll be fun. So remember what to comment. You're going to tell me what your favorite prince or princess movie is. Um, I appreciate you hanging out with me. I really, really do. Um... I appreciate you blessing me by allowing me to be the venue. I'm going to say this again. What you see is not just from me. Yes, I do donate a lot of the postage. But all the products, all the kits that come together are because of all of you and to those who donate. So a super thanks to everyone who donates. When you're doing something as small as watching a commercial, you are helping spread joy to others. So I appreciate you. I know the winners of the present, the past, and of the future appreciate you. I hope that you find joy. I hope that you feel blessed. And I will see you next time. Bye.